Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chilvan, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Trichangodu. Today we discuss about the subject, Principles of Management in the topic of Planning. Here the definition of planning, planning is the process of setting, organizing goal and, is, and deciding how best to achieve them. Planning is deciding now what we are going to do later, including what is to be done and a hobby is to be done. Then next we discuss about importance of planning or sometimes uh, functions of management. The first one is for help to set your goals. The next one give right direction, reduce future uncertainties, effective utilization of resources, bring efficiency, brings coordination. It helps to encourage innovative idea, it to ensure effective control, to reduce the business failure, to improve the performance, achievement of organizing goal, etc. Then next we discuss about types of plan. There are three types of plans are available. The first one is for strategic plan, next one tactical, then next one is for operational. So first point we discuss about strategic plan, it means involves analyzing competitive opportunities and threats as well as the strength and weakness of an organization and to determine how the position of organization to compete efficiency in their environment. Then next we discuss about tactical plan. It will help to create the blueprint for the large strategical plan. These plans are often short term and are carried out by middle level manager. Then next one we discuss over operational plans to cover the entire organizational goal and objectives and put into practical the way and action steps to achieve the strategic plan. Very short term plan usually less than a one year year. Then next we discuss about the year the planning, planning process. The first planning process being aware of opportunity then establish the goal then developing planning premises and it help to determine their alternatives, then evaluate the alternatives and select the best alternatives. Then next one is for formulating of supporting plan, then establishing sequence of activities. These the eight points are we discuss in the planning process. Then next we discuss about management by objectives. Short form it is shared as MBO. It is a process of defining objectives within an organization so that management and employees agree to the objectives and understand what they need to do in the order to achieve them. The term management by objectives was first published by Peter Drucker in the book The Practice of Management in 1954. Then next we discuss about the process of MBO. There are five process, seven process are available. The first one is for defining the goal then next one is for define employees objectives then continuing or monitoring the performance and the progress then your performance of evaluation then providing the feedback then next we discuss about decision making it means it is the primary functions of management it is the key part of managers activity it is defined as a covers it is defined as a course of action which is consequently choose from among to a set of alternatives to achieve a desired result. It represents a well balanced judgment and a commitment to action. Then the first important functions of management is to take decision on a problem under situation. Then next we discuss about decision making types. There are three distant three types are available. One is for unstructured design, then structured design, then semi-structured design. Here the unstructured design means design makers must provide judgment, evaluation and insight to solve the problem. Then structured design, it, it means routine, involved a definite procedure for handling them. For example, operational manager and the staffs are doing that. The next one is for semi-structured design, decision. Here it will be taken for middle level management. Then next one is for seven steps are available in decision making process. We have to discuss from one by one. The first one is for articulate the decision, then gather information, then identify your option, 
then evaluate the information, then select your decision, then implement the decision, then review your decision. Thank you for watching this video.